your Viceland show with Katya. I mean, congratulations. And it's great because it's like Drag Race, but nobody can eliminate me. Hello. And once I kill Katya, I will be the star. And what can we expect to see on this? Is it going to be an extended version of Ah? Uh, is it going to be something entirely a little different? It's just like our YouTube series where it's really over the top editing. It's Katya going on cognitive tangents while I try to like lasso her back in with one liners. It's just bananas. We got to do things like out of drag, stuff on the street. We got to do different sketches. So we got to do what we do on YouTube, but we got to like do whatever we wanted. So I'm very excited. I mean, it's just taking over at this point. I mean, and here you're kind of like, dare I say, maybe the Beyonce, the Dell of DragCon. Katya's not here, so I'm the Beyonce. Normally, I'm the Latavia. <laughs> Today is all about you, sister. Your album, number two on iTunes, yeah. I mean, that's a big deal. It shows you that if you put out something you work hard at and you're in drag and you have discernible gifts, I think people are used to drag queens just looking good. So when you look good and you know how to do things, audiences are so on board. If you build it, they will come. Kevin Costner taught that, us, taught that to us in Field of Dreams. And it wasn't just like a drag album. I mean, it was a country album that even like critics were really loving. So that must have felt especially great for you. Yeah, it was important to me to have something that was good music, whether or not it was a drag queen. Who you envision singing it is irrelevant.